Father God, we thank you for your grace and your kindness and that you are a God of relationship. That the only thing that was not good in the garden was that Adam was alone without Eve. So you, a good father, created Eve, thus instituting the marriage relationship. And we are here today before you, uniting Matthew and Chelsea in this covenant of marriage. We thank you with them for the good gift that they are to each other and pray that their marriage would transform them to become more like you, Jesus that it would extend their opportunities to be your witness in the world and that it would exceed all of their expectations. For your glory, amen. This picture of marriage, of leaving your previous life and starting your new life together, is a beautiful picture of the gospel, of the good news of what God has done for you in Jesus Christ. See, today, friends, Matthew and Chelsea are making the second biggest identity change of their lives. But they've already each made the first, and by far most important. They've put their faith in Jesus. But today you make the second of husband and wife. So the seed that I gave you represents your new identity in marriage. So what does the seed need to grow? Well, it needs soil. You gotta take that seed out of the silo of your singlehood and you put it in the soil of your married life. So your seed is placed in the soil, that new environment that brings new roles and responsibilities. The second thing your seed needs to grow is nutrients. You need to water and fertilize your seed so it can grow. Just like your seed needs to be nourished, so too your marriage needs to be nourished. Just like you invest in your seed, you need to invest in your marriage. So you have your seed, you have soil and nutrients, and then you need the sun. The the seed needs the warmth from the sun to grow, and the plant needs the sun to keep it growing. The S-U-N, but what you need for your marriage is the S-O-N. Jesus Christ at the center. As you invest in your marriage, as you are intentional to take on those new roles and the new responsibilities, intentional about feeding your marriage and keeping the Son, Jesus, at the center, then that tiny little seed will grow and it will flourish and it will be able to withstand the droughts and the hard winds and the turmoils of this life. And it will get bigger 
more wonderful as time goes on.